What's up, Liveling Nation? I'm Jeremy Reed, your certified Liveling coach, and today we're gonna go shopping. We're gonna do what I call a grocery shop sugar swap, where I'm gonna pick out some very popular items from different areas of the grocery store, and I'm gonna put them side by side with comparable but healthier options. At the end of this short video, you are gonna be shocked by the amount of sugar that we save, just added sugar that we save by picking out a little healthier version. Now, most of us are like, yeah, yeah, I know, sugar's bad, whatever, but, there's a lot of hidden sugars in the foods that we eat, and a diet too high in sugar can have a plethora of negative health effects that doctors call metabolic syndrome. Now this can have a negative effect on your, on your good cholesterol, it can have a, <laughs> a raising negative effect on your bad cholesterol, it can cause uh, issues with your triglycerides, it can cause diabetes, it can cause weight gain, it can cause high blood pressure. There's all sorts of things that can happen when your diet's too high in sugar. We're gonna pick out some popular items that you may or may not use on a daily basis, and we're gonna compare those and see what we can save. So, let's go shopping. Since breakfast is the first meal of the day, and in many people's opinion, the most important meal of the day, I started there. Now, we are all about convenience, right? A very popular item is instant oatmeal. Most of the instant oatmeal on the shelf is flavored, which tastes great, it's delicious. <laughs> but it is not nearly as healthy as its older and more mature brother, the old-fashioned oats, or the steel cut oats, which are gonna be far more healthier. I'm gonna tell you why. When you start looking closer at the nutrition label, we've got 12 grams of added sugar in the Quaker Oats and less than one gram in the Old Fashioned Oats. This is 12 grams of added sugar with zero here, essentially. You can add some stevia, some fruit to sweeten this Old Fashioned Oatmeal up, and you're gonna have a high fiber, slow digesting, complex carb to add to your breakfast. Another popular breakfast item is cereal, right? Everyone likes cereal. We probably grew up eating cereal almost every morning of your life when you were a kid. And when we think cereal, most people think if you're eating granola, that's a healthier option for cereal. But when you start comparing and reading labels, not all granola is the same. Now, if you look at the package, the granola itself actually looks very similar. I mean, you can see it. You can actually see the product and it looks very similar, but we've got one and this has 16 grams of added sugar in it, where the other one, Bare Naked, has four grams of sugar. So right there, we're saving 12 grams of sugar just by choosing a different granola. Again, if you want it a little sweeter, put a couple stevia packets in there and it's gonna be fantastic for you. Now on a cold, windy afternoon, I think everyone feels a little comforted by some soup. Now I prefer to make my own, and so I know what's inside of it, but, Canned soup is actually a really popular product in the grocery store. That's proven by the fact that it takes up all of this entire aisle. Here I took the vegetable classics line, and so I wanted to pick two that would be considered comparable uh, soups from the same product line, and they're actually very popular soups. We've got a, a tomato basil and a minestrone. But we've got 15 grams of sugar in the tomato and only three grams in the minestrone. So you can see just by making one small difference in your soup choice, you're gonna save an additional 12 grams of sugar in your diet. Now, salads have always been known as a really healthy thing. And the fact is, yeah, lettuce, greens, spinach, all these stuff, these mixed greens, these are fantastic for our health. They've loaded with natural vitamins and minerals, and they're just, they're absolutely great and should be a part of your diet. But the dressings we put on them can make all the difference in the world. And in almost all cases, you're getting more calories from the dressings you put on the, on the salad than the actual salad itself. So I picked two pretty popular, uh, pretty popular uh, salad dressings, and we're gonna compare those. Catalina dressing, it's a little sweet, kind of a little tangy. Uh, another one is a, a basil vinaigrette, and this is actually an oil-based uh, vinaigrette. You can actually see a large amount of oil on the top. Now, comparing the labels, <clears throat> the Catalina, for only two tablespoons of salad dressing, has eight grams of sugar, where the vinaigrette has only one. Now, you'd think, okay, well, you're gonna make up the calories in the fat, but, the vinaigrette has less fat, less sugar, and less calories than the Catalina. If you go down your beverage aisle in your grocery store, you're gonna see very popular, like iced teas, uh, juices, all sorts of sugary sweetened drinks. Uh, Pure Leaf happens to be a big one. And there's 42 grams of sugar in this bottle, 42 grams. Now, if you compare that to cold brew tea bags, all you gotta do is pop this in and make a cold brew glass of tea yourself, add a couple stevia packets and maybe a squeeze of lemon, and you've got a very sweet, delicious iced tea that's gonna have zero added sugar compared to 
a whopping 42 grams here. Almost every single section of the grocery store is gonna be loaded with options that both look the same, they both look healthy, but if you start reading the labels, there's a big, big difference between them. That's 96 grams of added sugar. It's 96 grams of sugar that was saved just by making slightly healthier decisions. So the next time you're in your grocery store, read the labels. Start looking at what you're taking in and get an idea. Compare that to other products that are on the shelf and see if there's a healthier version than what you've always grabbed. If you start researching what you're putting in our body, you may find that there's a tremendous amount of added sugar that you're taking in. I'm Jeremy Reed. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next time.